Today, we're having mini lobster grilled cheese. That's right, it's snowing in Texas. So I had to have something to eat, and I'm not going outside. No way, man, it's too cold out there. So this is what we're having. Wild Forks mini lobster grilled cheese. That's right, welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. Now, I got this from Wild Fork. I have heard amazing things about it. I've never eaten it comes out of the box looks like that look at that it's pretty now these are super easy to make according to the instructions you cut a slit in the plastic wrap microwave it for 30 seconds and then you put them in a saute pan and grill them for one to two minutes each that sounds easy to me i've got the pan heated up we're ready to go cut a slit 30 seconds in the microwave oh yeah the ding means it's done Now we just gotta get them in the pan. They're still pretty frozen, but they look really good. I think being they are still frozen, I'm gonna go ahead and do two minutes on each side. One minute just doesn't seem like long enough. While they're cooking, let's talk about them. They have a, uh, they've taken a, we've taken an adult spin on childhood favorite and turned it into a crowd-pleasing appetizer. Appetizer, this is my lunch. Nine bite-sized sandwiches per package. Mini grilled cheese is stuffed with a lobster forward filling of sweet Maine lobster combined with a melty four cheese blend of cream cheese, Swiss, Romano, and Parmesan. Plus the French baguette comes buttered so you can toast them to perfection. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Now, I've heard a lot of good things about these. Um, they are uh, out of stock quite frequently, so they must be good, right? I guess. This is not sponsored by Wild Fork, but I do buy frozen ground beef there. It's pretty good, it's easy. Pop it out the day before, make some, uh, make some spaghetti with it, I don't know. But they have a lot of good frozen breads and frozen vegetables i don't eat vegetables but uh you know if you eat vegetables you can do that they also have like whole hogs and i mean they got all kinds of crazy stuff in there lamb chicken beef they got it all and it's all frozen so you know you can just save it for later okay it's been two minutes so i'm gonna flip them well they're so little they're hard to flip <laughs> burnt my fingers can't get the you can't get the spatula under them but hey what we will do for lobster grilled cheese they smell so good i love the smell of of grilled cheese that butter when it's cooking mm, god that's a good smell now, they've been in the pan two minutes but they're they're still a little cold to me so i'm gonna check them with a thermometer now it says cook them to an internal temperature of 165 but as you see here i'm getting like 90 degrees on this sucker so i don't want to burn the bread also tongs work much better for removal okay there we have it the mini lobster grilled cheese sandwiches now what do they taste like Lobster's good. You know, I honestly didn't think there'd be a lot of lobster in here, but man, that lobster flavor comes through big time. These are excellent. That cheese blend, uh, these little mini baguettes, man, they're solid. I like it. Mmm. I give these a big fat thumbs up. Good job, Wild Fork. These are really good, man. These would make a good appetizer, but I don't think I'd want to share them with anybody. Okay, keep them all for myself. Man, they really do pack in the flavor, though. These are, these are a hit. These are really good. I can see why they can't keep them in stock. Big thumbs up, Wild Fork. You did good on that one. I'm going to finish eating my lunch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. I appreciate all those likes, comments, and subscribe. Hit that next video if you want to watch the next one. And until next time, keep eating Wild Forks, mini lobster mac and cheese, and we'll see ya.